What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode on the Insorum server. And as you can see, the bridge is complete. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little montage there. Uh, as I mentioned last episode, I, I just don't record that kind of stuff enough. So I made sure to chuck on my my recording software. Uh, in fact, let's just, let's just get a nice look at it. I made sure to chuck on my recording software. Uh, the, the, as I said, the commentary wasn't the, the most interesting thing. Look at that. Beautiful. The commentary wasn't the most interesting thing, so I just kind of did a kind of a... Uh, almost time-lapse, just sped up the footage. You know, some nice music behind it, quite nice. Um, so, coming onto the bridge, we have some nice little pillars here. These could be replaced, I'm not sure what exactly we'd replace them with. Uh, but, they're good for now. They're good for now. As we come up, you can see the suspension cables I actually, I actually made. Lorraine chucked some glowstone in and he put some little... What'd you call them? Just I just call them cables. Yeah, just cables, like the suspension cables. And it makes a quite a grand entrance into this lovely building here by Flake. Uh, and really what it does is connect uh, this side of the city to this side. So instead of going from the wheat farm, instead of just instead of running all the way across and having to go around like Zarin Tower and up onto the ledge way, way over there, uh, I can just come across this lovely bridge, straight run across, uh, the only thing I think we're missing now is a speed beacon around the corner, uh, probably near Fun Song's base. So I think that's all we're missing. Uh, this side uh, could be a little more interesting, granted, but yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, how I did these suspension cables, you may be interested. Uh, we'll go up. I'll give you a look at the top first because uh, Low designed pretty much the whole bridge. I uh, designed these crossbars up here. I think there's a ladder here. Yeah, ladder's here. Uh, so how I did the cables, uh, I actually just chucked in a, uh, it was just a parabola generator in Minecraft. I kind of just went off that. Uh, I sort of went off that. Uh, for example, uh, this parabola here was the one I generated and I really liked the shape of it. Uh, I didn't like, I did this one first. I didn't really like the shape of it. So I actually uh, edited it slightly. Like I put this thing in here that goes block on top of the other rather than just a straight line. And it gives a much nicer curve, I guess. It was really just more or less trial and error, just to see what I wanted to get. And it gives a nice effect of these cables kind of look like they go through the, uh, the crossbar. If you, if you have a kind of... Can we, can we get up, please? Thank you. So I think that gives a really nice effect. It kind of gives the illusion that they go through the crossbar, uh, because if you have a look, it's like a hanging chain here but then it kind of curves upwards here as if it's kind of resting on the crossbar, which I really like. It was totally an accident. <laughs> totally an accident. Uh, uh, I don't like this. But yeah, you can go up here. You can stand on here. It gives a really, really nice view. Um, I need to grab some pills. I may do that on my way through. So I'm really, really impressed by this. By the way, if you're um, a real kind of maths person at the moment and you're getting really, really annoyed at the fact that I used a parabola generator... Uh, for this, because it's not really a parabola, it's not really meant to be a parabola, uh, it's really hard to find Kosh generators for Minecraft, but it was really easy to find parabola ones. Uh, for those of you, a bit of, bit of maths for you guys, um, the curve for uh, a hanging chain is actually called a hyperbolic cos curve, uh, nicknamed a Kosh curve, which is... Oh man, getting getting too maths here, but it's the imaginary part of a of a cos. Oh shit, what was it? It's the imaginary part of like a cos curve or something. I can't quite remember. I haven't I haven't really done it in too long. I haven't really uh, I in my mathematics career I haven't really gone into cosh curves and I think they're called shine curves. It sounds really cool, <laughs> which is hyperbolic sine and then ah oh, it's it's tan h. Than. I think it's called Than. Uh, I may have to check that out. But they've got really, really weird names. <laughs> but basically, that's what it is. It basically, go look it up. Just C O S H, Kosh Curve, and it gives you its uh, hanging chain, is the kind of curve it gives. Uh, Enderpels, we should have plenty. Ooh, we're running out. May need to make another trip back to the end of Ender Farm. Uh, you may realize we don't have speed there. I mean, we didn't have speed there before, but we appear to be missing a few beacons. Um, there seems to be one missing from Funsong's tower, which, fair enough, Funsong probably took that, but there is actually a beacon missing from the iron farm. 
If you remember, there was a beacon in the middle of the four iron farms, and you can clearly see there's no beacon there. There's no beacon extending into the sky anywhere here. So I'm not really sure where that's gone. Uh, we haven't really asked anyone yet. Um, we, I, I guess we just assumed it was fun. That I, That's only because that one's missing as well. So I'm not really sure on that. Uh, so uh, what is next for the city? Because we've got that bridge done. We've got a lot of that stuff done. I had an idea for a bridge project. However, it depends on the amount of brick and and sand slash glass we have. I'll quickly go over to the wheat farm because I did a little bit of work on that that I don't believe I've showed on camera. Uh, we have these pillars here. This was just kind of testing what I liked. I'm not sure. Basically, I would do two pillars right up to the top and then glass for the rest. And I'm going with the light gray glass. Uh, because it is the most see-through glass, and I think it will... The neutral color will go very well. I could go white glass, um, but... I'm One, I'm already using white glass for that, and it gives a really kind of greenhouse feel, I, I guess. Um, but I feel the light, the light gray glass being really, really see-through will be good. Uh, and I want to do some sort of pattern, possibly with black glass, is what I'm thinking at the moment, at least. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll, I think I have to do some tests in creative to see what I like. Uh, but I'll need to do a lot of sand mining. And I know where to do it. I just have to go out there and uh, I'll have to grab... We have a few mules slash donkeys. So I'll have to grab one of them and fill an entire, entire inventory with sand. I do have some leftover glass actually. Or I should. Or at least some sand left over. Oh, it appears I don't. Huh. I swear I had sand left over. Yeah. Yeah, it was all here. Maybe... Ah, uh, no, no, I know where it's gone. It was, uh... I, I cooked it in the super smelter and it must be... Uh, it must just be in the bank or something. That's cool. Uh, so, yeah. The walls are getting done. I'm... This floor's really grown on me. Uh, this It's really, really grown on me. Uh... It, it, it looks better every time I go past it. I, I really like it. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's, it's all I really can say about it. I really like it. <laughs> really. Um, what we can do is I'm going to do I'm going to do a harvest because we have perfect harvests now. Oh yeah, and I still have to do this area down here. We're gonna we're actually gonna see it in action. I really want to see it in action. Or I want to show you guys it in action. Oh, our only problem with the slime block thing. So, uh, you guys have obviously seen this multiple times. Uh, we're getting lag. Sorry about the lag spikes, but unfortunately that kind of thing happens when you, you're updating. Wow, we've got eight frames a second. Seven frames, six. Uh, <laughs> and you can see why. See, as you can see, we've got no wheat landing on the edges now because I filled it in the glass. Or it's actually in the middle, wasn't it? So none landing in the center, which is excellent. I'm just going to drop down here. That's fine. Wow. This is shocking. <laughs> Whoa. All right. And the frames are back. So, if... Nope. I really kind of want to look in here where the stuff is going. Yep. And you can see it flowing around. It falls down the middle hole, which is over there. And you can see it flowing right around. And you'll see it get further and further as these hoppers fill up. I just want to see it, see if it goes over the packed ice here. Yep, you can see one just skipped over the packed ice there. And you can see it skipping into these hoppers. However, if it finds, it will just actually keep going around in the cycle until it finds an empty hopper. So this is a 100% guaranteed to pick up every drop system. It will pick up every single drop uh, and nothing will despawn. And that was the intention. Uh, I, I do have credit to give to Lorraine for this idea because it was a very good idea. And you can see it is filtering in. Wow, that is filtering in fast. I think we've got a lot of hoppers pointing in. I think we can actually have a second hopper pointing into here to actually filter out this chest faster. Uh, but in the end, as long as it's all getting into this chest, there is a lot of space in here. Um, so I'm not really fast. As long as it's none of it is getting lost, I'm not fast how long it really takes to filter in. So I think it should be fine to shut off the water now. So none, none should be left. I don't think anything should be left. No, 
doesn't seem to be anything flowing down. So that's how it works, guys. That's how it works. So uh, I'll grab... I'm going to quickly grab some quartz. I should have some quartz here. We do have some quartz slabs. Do I have a little bit more? Another quartz slab. Oh, back in your world. I do have some chiseled... As I'm not sure that's enough chiseled quartz. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'll have enough here. Oh, we may need to grab a bit more quartz. But I think it's time I get rid of this. So... <laughs> so it looks like... If you remember this, uh, we had a lovely floor replacement by Funsung. So I don't know. I, I, I don't like to get rid of these because it's like kind of a history thing. <laughs> but unfortunately, I think it is time. So there we go. I have plenty of screenshots of it anyway. So let, let us get rid of that finally. We'll need to go grab some more chiseled quartz. Yeah, we'll need to. There is actually some quartz over here. So I swear it was, I swear it was in my inventory, but apparently it wasn't. So we'll just jump over here, grab some quartz, and if we've got time at the end of the episode, I want to start my project, my, my just little project for the slime farm entrance over there, which I have an idea for. I have an idea. I have an idea. That's all I, that's all I want to say. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll work, but I have an idea. <laughs> I think I left some quartz here. There we go. That should be plenty. Plenty of quartz. All right, let's... Let's jump back over here. See, it's just annoying. You, you get over here and you lose the speed. Uh, I think our ultimate goal is to have a speed over the whole city. That, I think, is the ultimate goal. Uh, we have not got to that yet, so we need to kill a few more withers. Um, I will actually, talking about withers, you may notice my armor. And, oh, I actually haven't mentioned my tools. Uh, but I will mention that in due time. Just, I'm very lazy. I don't want to... I don't want to be a peasant to just run all the way over there for my crafting crafting bench. I, I want to do it here. One, two, three. One, two, three more. Okay, two, three. And then fill the gaps. One, two, three, four. I think this was it. I think. That was it, yeah. Let us check. Oh good. Okay, so the floor is done. It's completely done. It's a bit empty in this corner now, isn't it? It's a little empty. I still need to uh, do the wall, obviously. When I do the wall, I'll make this entrance a bit more cohesive. Get rid of, obviously, like this dirt and stuff. Obviously, this cobble. Uh, and we will get it done. But I need to find a design I like first, unfortunately. So I will show you my tools, I guess. I'll just leave that there. That's fine. I'll keep that. Get rid of that. Whatever. We have so much of this, it doesn't really matter. I have so much junk. So much junk. I keep the notebox and the dark oak in there. Uh, anything else? I'll keep that. Keep that. Okay, uh, so I kind of combined a few tools. I, I took advantage of Lorraine's villages, uh, and I managed to get myself a few new tools. Um, so if we have a look in my inventory, I have now Silky Smooth as my main pickaxe, Efficiency 5, Silk Touch, and Unbreaking 3. I have my Fortune pickaxe, Fortune 3, Efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3. Uh, Lorraine has, uh, I think it's an Efficiency 5 uh, villager, so one that sells Efficiency 5 books, which is really, really handy. Uh, uh, Silk Touch, Efficiency, Unbreaking, Diamond Axe. The same shovel. I need a new shovel soon because it's getting very expensive to repair. Uh, looting three on the sword, which I believe we did on camera. Did we? Did we do that on camera? We may have. Um, okay. Wait up. I just need to... So we're standing on 69. So we should be... Oh! Whoa. Well, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Welcome back. Uh, my internet just, just crashed there. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. Um, it, it just said, no, nah, I, I don't want to work. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was odd, to say the least. Um, we're getting rid of our F3 now, we don't need it. Uh, we need to find the coordinate of the slime farm entrance. Because I have an idea, but I'm not sure if it will exactly work. It's three wide, which is handy. I want to find the outer edge. So it'll be this edge. 
is at 457 or negative 457. So let's go find that. Uh, so this is kind of inspired by stuff I've done on all old worlds where you kind of run a path through a corner and have like glass, possibly glass, on the corner. It kind of depends on the geometry. 457, was it? That's good. We don't want to be too deep. 457 and then straight out here should be the edge. Beautiful. Uh, so this basically, I'm going to do, I really want to do cobble or smooth stone or something. Um, in fact, I'll just grab some smooth stone and do it. I just, or oh, so diorite will do, whatever. Whatever works. So if we grab some diorite here, uh, so this will be, it's actually, this will be like the stone brick. Ugh. Playing multiplayer sometimes feels like there's someone behind me because the it's so laggy, the, the block placing. So basically that'll be the edge of the road. So it'll be slabs here, obviously. So it'll be like brick slabs or whatever I've got. Get rid of that. Brick slabs. And then so this will be like a T-junction. I may expand it out a little bit, uh, but it'll be a T-junction and then it will come across... Uh, and possibly this bit will be glass. Obviously, this would be a bit higher as well. And the corner will be glass, technically. Or theoretically, should I say. So this entire chunk here will be just be essentially, I think, I want to say one for one replaced with glass. I'm not sure. But you'll be able to go around and have a nice view of this little lake here. And then finish. Whoa. Away. Oh, so yeah, uh, it'll finish it off with a nice bridge, hopefully, uh, which will be just kind of a downward little bridge there. Uh, I'm not really sure how it will look. I I'm kind of iffy. Um, I'm just trying to think back to kind of old stuff I've done, which I th I think in one of my worlds I've done. Oh, got a bow. I've done kind of stuff where it's been I think slabs. You. Oh, there you are. Go away. I think I've done stuff okay. with slabs uh, and lava slash water, and that's looked really good in the past. So I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see where we go with it. I'll ex definitely expand on it. Um, I guess let me know if, if you've got any ideas for it. Maybe let me know because I'm not 100% sure. I, I want to make it look polished. That's the thing. I want to make it like... You know, you're on the path and you're walking into it and there's a clear kind of opening. And it's like you are walking into a clear opening in the mountain. This is this is deliberate. It's not just a, a path and there's dirt everywhere and cobble here and smooth stone there. No, I want it to be a completely deliberate path. If you kind of if you kind of get where I'm going. So that's what I'm kind of going for. Uh, I think I'll see how it goes. I think I'll see how it goes. But I guess we'll just clear that out. Uh, and we're, we're pretty much almost out of time here. Uh, that montage didn't take too long. But I think we'll be at a, probably be at about 20 minutes by my estimation. So one, two, three. I'll go like here. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this little episode here. Almost a kind of little, little bit of an update. We got the bridge built, which was good. A bit of an update. Uh, still working on some upcoming series. If you're wondering, guys, I'm still working on editing and stuff. I'm kind of getting to the end of my uni semester. Uh, pretty much all I have left now are exams. Uh, so I'll be able to... All, all I'll be doing is studying, essentially. So I'll be able to put a little bit of extra time into actually making some good quality videos for you. Uh, so uh, stay tuned, guys. Stay very, very much tuned to the channel. Uh, and I'll hopefully be getting out some on-time videos on like the last couple of weeks, of course. Uh, so thanks very much for watching this episode on the Instagram, Instagram, the Instagram server. Once again, guys, I cannot speak at the moment. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you next time. See you later.